There's a lot at stake with our local races, including two congressional races on Long Island. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live in Babylon, Suffolk County, where she's been talking with voters today. Jennifer. Maurice Christine, good evening. The energy for the top of the ticket has translated into a big Long Island turnout. Here in Babylon and in several other villages and towns, we saw some ballot problems with the machines, some scanning problems, also several instances in which poll inspectors failed to show. My ballot wouldn't go through three times because I had apparently the wrong district voting sheet. Finally, ballots cast. Relief on the faces of voters across Suffolk and Nassau. Viewers sent video of lines, most manageable and not contentious. Even confronting ballot issues, voters said poll workers were helpful. You come, you sign your name, you get your ballot, you go feel it. It's extraordinary. Excellent. Suburban races are up for grabs. Among the key Long Island races is the contest for the second congressional district, long held by Republican Peter King, who is retiring. Listen, it's been a great run in Congress, a great district to represent, but Andrew Garbarino is going to do a terrific job. They are very, very big shoes, uh, Phil. I hear it every day. Peter King so respected here that Democratic candidate Jackie Gordon pledges to continue King's moderate platform of reaching out if she wins. You're going to walk across the aisle. Yes, um, not only walk across the aisle, but sit at the table together with Democrats and Republicans alike. Out East, Republican Lee Zeldin wants to capitalize on President Trump's popularity in his district and put a check on what he calls big spending liberal Democrats. Voters want law and order. They want safety and security, peace and prosperity. His opponent, scientist Nancy Goroff, hopes to flip Trump supporters her way, frustrated over his COVID-19 response. We need policies that are based on facts and reality. And the red suburbs could lean blue. People moving, driven out of New York City by the pandemic for the more spacious suburban communities. In close elections, and we've got a real close one in Long Island's first congressional district, those voters could make a tremendous difference. Those districts went Trump in 2016, and tonight political pundits say both races are too close to call. We're live tonight, Babylon, Long Island. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Christina Maurice, back to you. Jennifer, thank you. Well